All right, so we're rooting 4.1.2 and 4.3 S3s today, and this is like my 10th retake, so I am pissed as hell, and I really hope this goes well. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. Go to the two links in the description. It's these two, and download them and extract them anywhere you want. So I've extracted them already. It's Odin 307 and CF root. And then what you need to do is go in your S3, make sure it is not on your computer, like not plugged in. All right, and then uh, turn it on and go to settings. And then once you're in settings, scroll all the way down and hit developer options. If you don't see it, it might be in system then developer options, depending on the OS. And then turn debu uh, debugging on. Turn USB debugging on. You might have to to turn developer options on first or whatever. It varies on different devices and different builds and stuff. All right. Then what you need to do is turn off your uh, S3. Yep. And then you're gonna hold volume down, home, and power together. That is volume down, home, and power. Volume down, home button, power button. And you're gonna hold this until it displays a warning and click volume up. Now it's gonna say downloading. Do not turn off target, so don't turn it off. Alright? And plug now now's the time to plug it in. Now once you've plugged it in here, you're gonna right click Odin, which you've extracted and click run at it as administrator and click yes and yeah just wait for it to turn blue on just a side note since this is what what's happening with my thing uh, if it's not detected by by the program you might need to uninstall and reinstall keys if you don't have it already Samsung keys so go on the official Samsung website and download and install that because that will install the device drivers and that's what you actually need for Odin so yep and there it is so once the message says added and there's a blue thing that comes up then you're all set make sure auto reboot and F reset time are the only options that are ticked if anything else is ticked please untick them and then hold, head over and click PDA and select the other thing that is in the description that we just downloaded, which is CF Auto Root, blah blah blah. It should say GTI9300, which is the S3 model, .tar.md5. And just wait for that, All right? And make sure there's a tick box, and make sure it's at Leave CS, and hit Start. Now, sometimes what happens is the the thing gets stuck and how that is fixed is all you gotta do is plug out your USB cable and plug it into another port because some ports just don't work as well and it'll just fail I have no idea why but it happened to me like four times which is probably why I'm retaking this video for the I don't know how long it's time but anyway so uh, I don't know if you could hear that but my S3 just restarted all right and uh, once it's green and it says pass that means it's done and on my Samsung screen it says Android is upgrading and it's starting apps and blah 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 so once it says pass you're gonna head over to the Play Store and download a root checker whatever the root checker may be uh, I think there's an app actually called root checker just like search it up Alright, so it's a pass. Uh, now get on the Play Store, download a root checker, and check whether you can enter super user permissions. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I've helped you uh, root your 4.1.2 or 4.3 device. Please try it on 4.2 and see what happens. I'm pretty sure it works exactly the same way. So uh, please rate and subscribe and please share this video. I see all the Google Circle stuff going on. And uh, yep, so. Uh, thanks for your time and have a good day.